Hey, how's it going? Ten years ago, Darlene met Dexter Linfield at a party for a mutual friend. I heard about you and I had to come and meet you. Oh, that isn't <laughs> true. They were married two years later. But their domestic bliss didn't last long. That's the third beer of the day. Shortly after Abby was born, Dexter lost his job as a touring rock musician. Why don't you do something? Work! You better watch your mouth. You're on being drunk. Dexter and Darlene had a pretty volatile relationship. He was a recovering alcoholic and had been known to use narcotics. I'm not going to shut up. Based on April's interview, she said there was a lot of domestic violence between the two. A year ago, they gave up on the marriage, and Dexter moved to Bakersfield, two and a half hours north of Santa Ana. But two months before the murder, he came groveling back for a second chance. And I worked really hard in the program. He had turned his life around where he was trying to reconcile with Darlene and bring his family together. I have been clean and sober. Dexter even convinced Darlene to uproot her family and move back in with him. They decided to put a down payment on a home in Santa Clarita, which was a halfway point for both of them. But as the move date neared, Darlene worried about taking her daughters so far from their friends, and she also sensed that Dexter was relapsing into his old ways. I've been having some second thoughts about what we're doing. A month prior to this happening, my mom and them had gotten into an argument. Wait, wait, I, I have plans. I have, I have bank loans. I have scheduled the trucks. We're moving. I don't want to move Abby from her friends. She's got her school. We're happy here. You're we're taking fine. away my family! Nobody's taking anything away. We're just you leaving. You are. You're I'm doing not going to listen to it. Then Dexter said something Darlene couldn't shake. You better watch what you say or you are not going to be around. Investigators visit Dexter at his home in Bakersfield, two and a half hours north of Santa Ana. Can you tell us a little bit about what your relationship was like? It was good. Um, we're going through a transitional phase, trying to get our family back together. Was there uh, ever any instance where you got physical with Darlene or she got physical with you? No, no. We, I mean, it was a marriage, you know, we had our fights, you know, and everything, but we, it never got physical. No threats, no violence. No, never touched her. Dexter claims he has an alibi for the morning Darlene was killed. Dexter said that he was in the city of Bakersfield at his place of employment. When was the last time you, uh, that you saw Darlene? Uh, September 1st, uh, Labor Day weekend. Dexter says he last saw her a month ago, but it was an amicable visit and they never argued certainly didn't threaten her in any way. Getting nothing but denials from Dexter. You just open up. Police collect his DNA, 